love you, son. I love you too, Come Astro on. Dude! Come on! Did I startle you? <laughs> you get it? Star two? Yes, I got the joke. <sighs> and we'll burn so much money! Burn? Uh, don't you mean make? <laughs> Watch your step, Mercury! Um... Uh, you, you just rammed into me. Cause I couldn't see you, you little pipsqueak! How big are you anyways? You sure you're not an asteroid or something? Hey! I'm a planet and you know it! Well, between you and me, Pluto thought he was one too. And look how that turned out. Just Venus is saying I'm barely a planet, that I'm like Pluto, that I'm small, and I'm- Don't worry, really. You're nothing like Pluto. But how can you be sure? I'm not that much bigger. Size isn't the only thing that makes you a planet. I'm oh wait, I forgot to tell him he's shrinking. Hey! Hey Mercury! Shh, 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 shh. Let him have this. But the probe was only the beginning. Soon there was so much more. Metal creatures entering his atmosphere, studying his weaknesses, preparing for the main attack. Because while Marstifer didn't know about it yet, he had become the next target of the dreaded Earthlings. Oh, come on. They just built a small base, and they're already gone again. You are making a star out of an asteroid. Y you going somewhere? Oh, yeah. Uh, we may be trying to colonize Mars. Right. Uh, prepare. Go, go. Huh. This still doesn't solve my trash problem. <laughs> I win! Nice game, you two! Take that, Earth! I'm the best! We are now tied. Oh, yeah! Well, well, at least I have a little planet. You mean a moon, dingus? Are you moon-shaming us now? Yeah! I am the only one with a moon. Ha-ha! <laughs> so I'm the real winner. Well, I have moons. Oh, I'm sorry. You mean those two small pebbles, Phobos and Deimos? If those are moons, then Pluto is a planet. Come on, don't be like that. Hey, why don't you say that to our face? It doesn't mean you have to be mean about it. Look, Jupiter has like 70 moons and he's not showing off. 80 moons to be exact. Pfft, the gas giants don't count. Says who? Says the planet with the biggest moon. Not counting gas giants because they're weird. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more important matters to attend to. Okay. Doctor said these pills will make the talking planets go away. Maybe it's all, all, all in your head. Yo, Astro Dude! Mind coming out here for a second? Well, that's lame. It's around 238,000 miles, right? Ugh, you Earthlings and your lame ideas. Wait, no, it, it's more interesting than that. Well, hey! Watch out where you toss those! He's just being a spoil sport. Go for it! Ouch! God, what's the deal, Venus? Oh, I'm terrified! All right, enough! I understand that there's a lot of unresolved issues between the two of you, but a fight won't help with that. Let's settle this like adults. Welcome to the solar system's first Who's a Better Friend to the Earth competition! Today's contestants, Venus and Mars! Asteroid Dodgeball! I've never understood that game. Does it have points or goals? Well, from how I understand it, they just chuck rocks at each other and whoever gets hit first loses. If you think being bigger gives you an advantage, then you're dumber than I thought. I'll show you dumb! Oh, interesting. Venus is attracting asteroids at a much stronger rate. He sure is! What's going on? Well, Venus is much denser than Mars and thus has a higher gravitational pull. That also means that the asteroids have a much easier time hitting him as soon as they enter his gravitational field. It's like he's pulling them in. Oh! He's using his gravity to pull them into orbit just like moons. But with their strong velocity, they'll be flying right back at Mars. Whoops! Hey! How did that 
happened? That settles it. Round one goes to Venus. What, really? What, really? That, that's awesome. Woohoo! Hey, Earthling! What the? Oh, oh, it's you. What is it this time? We need you to settle which one of us is more hospitable for life. Uh, all right. Well, you're both not really hospitable for life. I mean, I almost died of asphyxiation, poisoning, and just general cold on Mars. And I almost died of, well, basically anything, but especially the heat on Venus. Mars might be cold, but it doesn't melt our equipment. So while you're both bad for life, one of you is impossible for life, even in a protective suit. So what you're saying is? You're not the best holiday destination, Venus. You're kind of the worst for us. Uh, no offense. Well, that settles it. I'm better for life. Hooray. How long is a day for you? Uh, about 5,832 hours. So, we met up really early for you then, huh? In the great scheme of things, that's fast! How can my Earthlings become a Type 3 civilization if you're gonna leave and cause a cataclysm? It's not my fault! The problem is that this side is always changing. Oh, well, because I'm spinning? Yup, and very fast, actually. So the side of the Earth that's being pulled by the moon is changing all the time. Why does that matter? Hey, Jupiter, can you lend me one of your moons when mine abandons me? What? Yep, this was a waste of time. Hey, neighborino. I have a question for you about rings. Oh, c cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ask away, Neptune. You also have rings. Even Jupiter has rings. Only the harder to notice. Oh, Uranus, you're so funny. I killed my moons. I have about 27 moons. I could try to force them to crash into me. <laughs> oh, slow down. I think. Oh, we escaped the sun for now. Yeah, mate to an even more scary place. Oh my, I wouldn't want to meet whoever made these. Ugh, it's Dwarf Planet. I'm Eris, by the way. Don't meet a lot of your kind in the Kuiper Belt. Just keep going that way. Your friend's orbit is at the very limit of the Kuiper Belt, so you'll eventually find him. It's quite a lot of space to cover. I didn't know that the Kuiper Belt was so full of friendly faces! What? Why are you always calling, Neptune? Because my orbit is 165 years long! <laughs> Ugh, fine. Uh, hey, Neptune! You know we don't always have to follow our orbit, right, mate? But you always say, Well, I'm a bloody fool, okay? I, I miss you, buddy. And the sun won't mind if we bend the rules every now and then.